all right guys so welcome to this video and in this video we'll see how we can make this kind of poop gel you know like sticky kind of uh, effect okay and we'll be using flip solver and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy points on these uh, flip points and you know we'll in the end we'll get something like this okay uh, so I've seen like a lot of people they really have problem when they are like copying points onto like uh, especially on the flip simulation because there are some things that you need to make sure in order for the points to follow the uh, you know flip simulation properly all right so let's just start with the geo folder and I'll go inside and what I'll do I'll just use a tube here so this is going to act as an emitter for my flip simulation okay so let me just increase the rows and the columns here and I'll just decrease the height scale something like this and maybe a little bit of radius scale and let's keep it somewhere over here okay so we are not really going to uh, use any scene scale or anything because this is com something which is like completely abstract okay so that is our emitter and then what I'll do I'll just use a uh, points from volume okay and let's null this out okay so this is just a basic emitter and Let's put the point separation to something like 0.02 or so. Okay. Let's just do a control C. Let's go to the top net. Let's go here. Let's add a flip object. Again, if you don't know about these things, you can just watch our beginner series for Houdini where we have covered flip solver and flip simulations completely. Okay. So I'll just remove all of this stuff. Okay. Let's add a volume source, which is used for the continuous emission of the liquid. Okay, let's go here. Let's paste the path, go to the particles and remove this particles group. So we'll just get these points and let's also add a gravity node in order for the gravity to work. Okay. And if I do the same, you'll see like, you know, something will happen, but right now the resolution is not connected. So let's do a copy parameter. Let's go over here and let's do a paste relative references. Okay. Now, if I go here and if I start to do the same, Let's put it to like 0 0.035 and you will see we will just have our very basic flip sim. Now there are a few things which we need to do in this simulation for it to work. Okay. And let's go on all of them. Okay. So first of all, what we want to do here is we want to have this object, you know, this simulation more as a viscous kind of sim. Okay. So we need to go into this physical and here in this viscosity we can you know like use some viscosity like let's put it to like 2000 as of now okay now it won't really work unless you go to the flip solver volume motion and you know viscosity and turn on this enable viscosity okay and now you will see this will start to work okay now the thing is i need to use something for collision and i just cannot use a you know like i cannot use this bounding box for the collision now the reason for that is i'll tell you uh because you know viscosity in itself won't make the liquid stick with uh, you know objects for that we need to have you know this stick on collision and for a stick on collision we need to have something as collision okay so that's why we cannot use the flip solver box because that is not really a collision so let's just use a ground plane here okay and let's just merge it with our flip solver okay so let's put this here let's put it on the left side okay and if I start to do the same, let's see what do we get. So we'll see like this is working, but the problem is, you know, this is like quite slow. We need to make it fast. Okay. F in order for it to like fall, you know, uh, like it's falling really slow. So let's just go back and let's add a point velocity here. So let's put a point velocity. Okay. Set it to set to value and let's put something like minus five. Okay. Now, if we do the same, we will see like the simulation is going to, you know, happen really fast. Okay. Let's go to the ground plane and I'm just going to turn it off. Okay. And right now, one thing which I feel is like, you know, uh, it's not really viscous enough. So let's go back to the flip object and let's use something like 20,000. Okay. And let's do the same and let's see what do we get. So you can see like that is something what we have got here. So we have this thing and it's falling like that. Okay. But you'll see like, you know, uh, even though it is very viscous, it is still sliding on the floor. Okay. So in order to fix this, what we want to do here is we need to go to the collisions, turn on the stick on collision and just put this value to the, uh, sorry, not the max distance, but the stick value, stick scale to like highest amount possible. And now if you see, 
these particles they will start to stick to the ground okay so now there's no more lot of sliding and you know instead we have liquid which is like sticking really properly to the floor okay so i mean that is all for the basic sim now what we need to do is we need to take this thing into the uh, you know sop level and we want to like copy points on top of this okay now before we do that let me show you a few things that we can fix so right now you can see like all these particles they are coming in a very you know like uh, kind of they are having this line pattern okay so in order to fix that what we want to do here is just go to the points from volume okay and increase this jitter seed and the scale as well okay then we can just do a like dollar f so this is going to like you know change it the point position on every frame this way we will have a more randomized uh you know position of the points okay so if you look at this now we have these points which are like in completely random position and we don't have anything like you know uh we don't have any weird kind of artifacts or any patterns okay all right because if we have patterns in the flip points that will also show up in our uh, points that we are going to copy on top of these okay now there are a few things that we need to do in order for this to work so the first thing is like you know you need to go into the particle motion and here we have this option of behavior and you need to click on this add id attribute so what that's going to do is like you know it will remember the point id so each point will be assigned a certain id and that point will become unique so this way when we copy some objects or some points on top of this uh you know flip simulation it will remove in it will remain over there otherwise you know it will just go here and there okay that is one thing second we have this option of reseeding we need to turn this off so what reseeding does is you know it tries to add or remove points based on the you know like density of the flip particles okay so if we do that if we like turn this on we might have inconsistent number of points across the simulation yeah that is it for the flip sim and now we can directly go to the sop level and we can start working with the look dev okay all right so i'll just copy the path control c come over here and use a dop io okay paste the path in the dop network the dop node and over here let me just bring the flip object now if you have been to our like old tutorials let's choose flip fluid over here so if you have been to our old tutorials you might uh, remember like you know we use fluid compress in order to like compress the size of the fluid but we don't want to do that over here because when you use fluid compress again it deletes the particles wherever it's not needed okay so we don't want to do that okay so in this case you will never have to use uh, fluid compress that is one thing that you should always remember you can directly use the file cache okay now you can delete lots of attributes you can delete the velocity attribute and you know like p scale and all that stuff in order to decrease the size of the cache but make sure to have the id attribute so if you see over here we have this id attribute and that is the most important thing you can delete all the other attributes we don't really need them okay all right so let's see what we can do now so the way we are going to work with this is i want to like extract some of the points okay so if i start to copy uh, you know like points if i start to copy spheres on all these points you know it's going to look little weird so if you see in this video so we have this gel and it has like you know these uh, points inside it okay so these are not all the flip points these are some selected flip points okay so what we want to do here is we'll just use a group expression okay let's put it here and change it to the points and we will write a simple expression and that is going to be at the rate id small id modulus 100 equal to equal to zero so that means all the points which are completely divisible by 100 they'll be selected okay and we can just call them keep okay and now we are going to do something really good over here so i don't want to like you know just have one layer of particles okay and let's say if you want more particles you can you know decrease this number you can put it to 50 or you can even put it to 5 obviously if you put it to like 1 it will just have all the particles okay so basically it's saying all the particles which are you know divisible by 50 that is 50 100 150 200 and so on can go into this group okay now what i want to do here is i will just you know uh, first of all what i'll do i'll just use a blast and i'm just going to you know like blast out this keep group and delete everything else okay now what i can do i can just create a group from these points okay and you know uh, 
change it to the points obviously uncheck this base group and go to this enable option which is says keep by random chance okay and here i can decide like how many points i want okay so i'll just call this group as you know uh, maybe small and you will see what i'm trying to do here is so basically what i want is i want to create two groups from here so i want to keep 90 percent points in one group and 10 percent point in the other group this way i can have variation in the sizes okay let me show you so if i put this to like something like 85 percent okay and then if i just use a blast node again okay and i'll just you know click on this small and i'll just make a copy of this and in this one i'll do a delete non-selected okay so these are the small points and these are the big points okay so i can just call them small and i can call them as big okay now also one thing is like you know you can see like all these points are being stuck with our flips and because i mean they are not stuck these are the flip points as well uh you know and we are just like we have just separated them from the lot okay so what i want to do here is i'll just use a copy to points so i'm going to copy some sphere on top of them okay and i will use a sphere over here okay make sure your sphere is set to the primitive and if you click on this you'll see we will just copy you know these small points on top of this okay now what we can do is we can just use an attribute randomize and we can just randomize the p scale of these points just change it to the p scale and in the global scale let's put it to like maybe 0 0.1 okay and instead of this randomization which is set to uniform i'll change it to the custom ramp okay and you know let's remove all these points let's just keep one point so what it does it gives more control on how we are going to vary like you know how we are going to have variation in the sizes so i'll just do something like this okay so some of them will be big some of them will be small and then maybe a few chunks of them are going to be like you know a little bit bigger than all others okay so that is one thing and now what i'll do i'll just make a copy of this thing okay and i'll just you know put this one here and for this i'll just increase the global scale to something like that okay and maybe i'll just you know i won't have that much of randomization in the size okay so you see like now if i just merge both of them if i just use a merge here so you can see like we have some small like we have lots of small points and then we have few big points in between okay now if you want these big points to be less you can just increase this percentage here you can put it to like maybe 95 or so and this way we can have you know something like that okay so this is very important if you are doing a simulation where you have chocolate and then you have choco chips on the uh, if you want to copy the choco chips on the chocolate and all uh, you know it's the same way okay all right so now let's get our main uh, mesh ready here so i'll just use a particle field surface so obviously i'm not catching the simulation you can just do that okay i mean you will have to do that so i'll just change this to the uh, surface polygons okay and let's take our resolution from here copy parameter and let's do the references on a particle separation okay so influence scale i'll just decrease this to like maybe 1.5 and i think you know maybe i'll also put the adaptivity to zero so that we don't we have a clean mesh and you know it won't really do anything also i'll just go to the filtering options and maybe you know smooth this out okay so right now obviously our simulation is not very high risk so we will do a high risk sim and then we'll see you know how we can get the you know same thing over here so what i'll do i'll just you know do a high risk sim over here so instead of 0 0.035 maybe i'll change it to like 0 0.015 and let's just do a quick sim and let's see what do we get all right so it took like 15 minutes for this sim to be done and you can see like you know now we have really good looking mesh uh, good looking particle sorry so if we just go back over here you will see like you know now the problem is like we will just have too many points so when we copy something we'll just have you know just bunch of points so we want to like reduce the number of the points here so instead of this 50 let's change it to like 500 okay and that is what we'll have and if we just merge both of them that is what we get okay all right so let's just null this out and we are like almost done with our effect okay let's make a new folder let's call it geo and let's use an 
object merge here okay and uh, let's call this one bubbles okay and this is going to be our mesh so if you still think like your mesh is not smooth enough you can just you know use a higher value like 20 for the smooth okay and now let's just do a control c over here and let's make a folder let's copy this folder and let's paste the path and we'll just call this gel okay let's turn both of these off okay and you can see like we have something like that and let's let's just do something let's put up a camera here and i'll just find a good angle maybe something like this okay all right so let's put up an environment light here and i'll just browse for the hdri you can just download any hdri from polyhaven okay then what i'll do i'll just use a grid over here which will act as a floor i'll increase the scale over here and i'm just going to use a texture over here okay all right so if i just go to the render view and if i start to render let's see what we get so you can see like that is what we have over here okay and if you think like your points are uh, picking out you can just decrease the size of these points okay all right so let's just go to the output and as of now just to render everything faster i'll just increase this noise level okay and i'll go to the material palette i'll put up a principal shader and i'll also use a basic liquid here okay so this is going to be the floor so let's call it floor this is going to be for the gel so let's call it gel okay so as of now i'll just turn off my bubbles here and you can see like that is what we are having let's turn off the diffuse okay let's go to the refract and here i'll just change the color to like you know kind of bluish okay so that we can have a bluish tint i just uh, have little bit of more green color over here okay and you can see like that is what we get okay all right now what i'll do i'll just make a copy of this thing okay and let's call it bubbles okay so let's just keep them white and uh, let's do a control c go back to our bubbles and let's paste the path here so if we turn this on let's see what we get now so you can see like that is what we're having and our render is like quite noisy right now so let's go to the output in the noise level and um, let's decrease the noise and let's see what we get now all right so you can see like that is the result that we're having so what i'll do is like you know uh, like these bubbles i want them to like uh, be a little bit more shiny okay so i can just go to this bubbles and over in this reflect in the specular intensity i can just put it to like three so you know they will just pop out a little bit more all right so that is what we have and if you just want them to be like a little bit more bright you can just go to the uh, this and turn on this enable diffuse in the bubbles shader and i'll just put the color to the white and maybe i'll increase the diffuse intensity to like 0.5 or so and let's just have a render and let's see what do we get now all right so that is what we have now and you can see like you know this is what we wanted now if you just want them to like you know just pop out a little bit more you know i just keep on saying that you can just turn on this enable emission in the bubble shader and you can put the intensity to something like 0.1 and you will see like you know they will look really bright okay all right so now for the uh, second effect that we have shown in the video like this uh, disgusting looking poop so how can we have something like this well it's very easy so what we want to do here is like just let's just go back to the main sim okay and what i'll do here is like i'll just increase the p scale value of this thing okay so we'll have some of these big points okay and we can just have some variation here okay like some big points and some small i don't need this one okay so i can just disconnect this line okay so if you look at this that is what we have okay now what we want to do here is we want to like convert this thing into a vdb 
So let's use a VDB from polygons. And let's use something like maybe 0 0.01. Okay. And we can also just smooth this out. So we will use a VDB smooth. And let's, you know, I mean, that is it. Okay. So this particle field surface right now, this is coming out as a polygon. Instead, if I just change it to the surface VDB, it will make this thing as a VDB as well. Okay. And now we can just combine both of these VDB. So we'll just use a VDB combine here. Let's merge both of them and we'll change the method to the combine or you can say the union. And if you see, that is what we get. Okay. So if you want again, like, you know, we can have more points here, maybe like if we change it to the 85%. Okay. And then we can just have an overall smooth here. So that will really integrate both of these things together. Okay. And then we can just use a convert VDB and we can convert it back to the polygons. Okay. So this time I'll just use some other material here. So I'll just go to the material palette and let's put a new principal shader. Let's make it quite dark. Okay. I'll increase the roughness and uh, let's put this on top of this and uh, let's see how it looks now yeah so that is what we have and it looks really disgusting that means we have done something really good all right okay so yeah that is it for this tutorial if you want to join our live classes we have a new batch starting from first of the march you can join our live hoodney batch and we also teach uh, animation modeling uh, head and fur rigging and stuff so you can always get our free demo classes and see the quality yourself all right, so let's meet in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.